How you doing, YouTube? Matt Master Beer Reviews, back with yet a uh, a four-way. A four-fucking-way <laughs> barley wine. Jesus Christ, with this fucking guy. This this is this is what we were built for. Yeah, this is this is why we exist. <laughs> this is like, you know, when they call, like, you know, they call, like, the... Like, uh, if you ever watch, like, um... What was that? Fucking the Bourne, Bourne Identity movies? They'd call, like, Jason Bourne and be like, go do your job and, like, kill these people. Like, they're like, okay, we need four, four 16-ounce... <laughs> vessels of barley wine killed and be like let's call Matt and Keith um, so yeah. it is freezing out um, we have a heater we have a tent we're kind of okay I'm not too cold um, but this is a long time coming like about a month and a so ago a month and a half ago a month ago so ago I was like hey Keith I need a favor and that favor is to drink these so Ecliptic Brewing um, if you watch my channel you're familiar they send me beers every now and then but the weird part is they only usually send me like one maybe two beers like they'll like literally I literally send me like a box this big with a single 12 ounce can in it they're fucking weird and um i was like okay and i was like and it pops up my incoming beer and mail and stuff like that. oh click that's coming okay i'm like what are they gonna send me a huge package of one can now and uh this came and i was like okay they sent me four fucking barley wines so this is a base barley wine barley wine they call it pineapple upside down cake so with pineapple Bourbon barrel aged barley wine and uh, rye barrel aged barley wine. So, uh, yeah, I need Keith because we need to do it side <laughs> by side by side by side on this one. And uh, yeah. here we go. Um, so, uh, like I said, the base on this beer is a barley wine. They describe the base as a uh, named after a giant orange star in the sky. This barley wine ale has gratifying effect in drink smooth. Three malts create healthy malt profile with robust character copious amounts of columbus chinook and simcoe so american barley wine hops combined for a nice resin hop flavor orange giant is perfect for aging in your cellar um the pineapple one i think it's just a pineapple maybe lactose oh no they had different hops zaka's in here um and uh real pineapple and azaka that's the one on this one. And then I believe these two are just the base barley wine. This is a barley wine ale aged in bourbon barrels. Yeah. 12 months in a bourbon barrel. Uh, there's nothing else in that as far as the label goes. And I believe this is just rye on this one. Rye whiskey barrels for 12 months. So, yeah. Let's do it to it. I want to do yeah. that one. Is Orange Giant the name of the beer? The name of the beer. That's the name of the base beer. The Ecliptic Brewing has to do with like solar stuff. Um, the second one. That's and um, has to do with like um, uh, astrological, uh, astrological stuff. So like all their beers are named after like stars and all that kind of shit. So Orange Giant is a star. You know what I mean? That's how they roll. So. Oh, oh, yeah. We are both going to short each other on all of these. Yeah. I want to short myself. I want to short myself on this. I got the bourbon barrel. You got the rye one there. So, this is the so we're going to go one. from front to back. Base, pineapple, bourbon, rye. That one there. That one there. That one there. That one there. And we'll give you guys a little look-see on what's going on here. So... That be the base. That be the pineapple. Looks relatively similar. Um, the bourbon barrel, much darker. And the rye barrel, about the same color. Maybe even a, it's a little darker, but I think it's the shape of the glass more than anything else. You know what I mean? I think it's wider yeah. glass, a little less fluid and stuff like that. So, you know, lighter, darker. This, to me, looks kind of like... I mean, they all look like iced tea. It's just you put a little peach iced tea, not too much in there. This is like you got that Tetley Street iced tea and you put a little too much powder in it. Yeah. So it has that thing going on. And it's got a, a little white ring ahead on it. Um, the barrel aged version and the adjunct version, not too much, except for yours. I, I have a huge head on <laughs> the pineapple one. Yeah. Well, that's because you poured it first and you probably wanted a little aggressive on it. That's why uh, this one is like that. For both of our barrel aged versions, yeah. um, there's a little bit less of a head on both ends of things so you guys can get an idea what's going on. So, yeah. Like. Let's dive into this base. Is that Pepper? Hey, Pepper. Peppy. Peppy. Oh, the taco bean. Hey, taco oh. bean. Come on, taco bean. Come on. So, yeah. Let's just jump in the nose. 
It smells like American barley wine. Um, resinous, yeah. piney, malty sweetness. But there is an orange characteristic to it. Like, uh, there is this kind of, like, yeah. when I talked about the previous beer, like an orange marmalade, like a sweetened, like a added sweetened version of an orange to it. But it's way, kinda, it's below that kind of like, piney resonance thing. Like, almost like a, like a concentrated sunny D. Like. So. If you remember what sunny D is. If you took, oh, I fucking know. So if you took if you took <laughs> if you took iced tea and dumped it in an empty Sunny D canister that was just used and then sprayed a little pine cell in it, maybe <laughs> <laughs> kind of that thing going on, mm. and not in a chemical way. I'm just trying yeah. to be a little bit funny, yeah. <laughs> but it has this little resinous characteristic to it. Let's go on to the uh, the pineapple version. Get a nose on that. I get a confectionery cakey thing as opposed to a pineapple thing. Yeah, I don't get a ton of pineapple, but there's this almost like a like a, a pound cakey sweetness. Like but a, it's I don't know I don't know about yours, but mine is very, very like subtle. It's it's, it's Oh yeah, not it's not over at all. Yeah, if you gave this to me blind, I'd be like, Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not a barley wine, but it's kinda like a barley wine light kind of thing going on. It's not like over the top sweet or anything like that. And, and whatever hop oh, characteristic maybe. I got over here in the resinous side of things, I don't get over here. Mm. Like, it's more sweet no. on sweet. Yeah. Uh, pound cake. Like, you go into I, a confectionery pound cake. Like, you cook. You know what I'm talking about? Like, a straight pound cake. Like, nothing. Just sugar and, 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 and malt and yeah, yeast. And I don't know if I'm I'm making it up in my head or, or if I'm fabricating it. But I I feel like I do get, a, like, a little bit of pineapple. But it's, it's a... Um, it's not a like juice pineapple. It's more of like a um, the cakey thing. They're doing upside down cake, probably like more yeah, like a yeah. Like a, so it's like, like a, a cooked pineapple or yeah. something like that. More of like a uh, uh, like a um, candied pineapple kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, like out of a can, like like a, like a the the like you get the old fruit cup, but if it was yeah. all pineapple and it was in the corn yeah. syrup for a little bit. Okay, let's go in that bourbon barrel jammer. Well, smells definitely like getting bourbon, bourbon and vanilla off that fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, it just smells like um, if you aged water in... <laughs> no, there's more to it than that. There's this cool kind of caramelly, like sugar daddy thing oh, going yeah. on there. So there's I, more to I it. Didn't, I didn't get that in the first. Yeah. Yeah, I actually... That smells pretty fucking yeah. amazing like this is an american barley wine not super aggressive bittering but this is an american barley wine this smells more like and it's yeah. a kind of english barley wine here but not so much and this is starting to get into that really kind of slightly <laughs> aged bourbony english barley wine it's this funny because is... the when i first smelled this the first sniff i got off of it it literally just smelled like uh what you said just bourbon and vanilla yeah and it didn't smell like anything <laughs> yeah. else so it was, so that's why I said water <laughs> aged in, in in bourbon barrels because I wasn't getting any. I am getting it now. Right. There you go. Actually, this one. Double check. Make sure we're recording. I feel like an asshole if we weren't. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I was like, all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, did I hit record? I was like, that would suck. This one, I would say, is the best. One oh, by so far. far, not even close. Rum time. Rum ham. Or rye whiskey. Sorry. Right. Right. Is it right? Rye was the last one, right? Yeah, the rye. Or no, did you take the rye one? This is rye. I don't remember. It's it's kind of the... It's got to be rye because it's spicy. It's more spicy. It's kind of the same as this one. Mm -hmm. for, for me, it's kind of the same as this but one, except a, there's like a little spicy... There's a spicy thing, like and this a, comes off like buttery. Like I almost like to put a dollop of butter in there. <laughs> yeah. But it comes off. Oh, ah. <laughs> Keith's got it. Yeah, Give him it a comes off like a like um. I forget what the scent is, but it comes off like some kind of candle, like some like like. The dude ooh. just spent some serious time in a fucking Yankee candle sugar yeah. store, so he knows what it is. He just can't pinpoint it. Listen, these it's, there are four beers involved. Let's just start drinking this shit because right. I just don't, I I don't, don't want to stop fucking around here. Base. <laughs> Let's dive in. It 
See, the shitty thing about doing this, and I just realized that, is one of my favorite journeys with darker beer and barley wine is while it slightly warms up. Mm. It's not warm. Yeah, it's getting colder it's, as we sit here. Yeah. Um, that's the only thing, but uh, for me on this, it is that kind of cooked caramelized orange with a spicy hoppy bittering. Like the hoppy bittering is almost, it doesn't taste like sage, but it's got that like kind of sagey kind of spicy bittering that you'd associate with something like that. Not like a hop green. Oh, no, I guess hop green is. But it's, it's definitely hop forward. It's definitely aggressive. And I don't hate it. Let's put it this way. Here, I got Keith it's like, right now. <clears throat> it's a crispy boy fucking barley wine. <laughs> Isn't it kind of like it, super crispy like and light and drink? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. And it kind of has, um, there's a little bit of that Werther's original. Or mm -hmm. Wer Wer yeah. Werther's? Yeah. Right? Just a little bit. Just, 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 just a slight. But we're, it, it's not butterscotch for me. No. It's a soft caramel, like the, the caramel version yeah. of of that, but it's very light, almost watered down, almost like you took the word of the original and let it dissolve in a glass mm -hmm. of water and then drank it. That kind of thing going on. Yes. Oh. Okay, I'm ready for number two. It's going to be a 20 minute video, so might as well rush through it. <laughs> Cheers. Let's rush through barley wine. That makes mm. sense. I like that better. Because there's an added sweetness to it. Not that you need an added sweetness to a barley wine, but there's this powdery confectionery sweetness. It's not like crystallized sugar sweetness. There has to be something yeah. more than just pineapple going on here. There has to. Are I don't get pineapple in that though. I'm not. I'm not getting a whole. I'm not getting any. Like almost. I'm, I'm getting. I'm say... getting a citrus fruitiness that is a. I could convince myself is pineapple. If that makes any sense. Actually, that makes. But sense. they're talking about. Um, they put real pineapple in this, so you're talking about putting real pineapple in it. It's not going to be super pineapple-y because it's not extract. It's real pineapple. But there's a Zaka hops in it, so they're adding a little bit more fruitiness from the hops. I got pineapple on the second sip. And it's, it, 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 but it's it's not like straight, like when I think of pineapple, are I think it, of like... Are there dates on these? There's got to be. This one is illegible. Yeah, the, I don't know what they're going to be in. The other one was illegible too. So they sent this to me. It came from the brewery um, less than two months ago. So it's got to be two months old. You know what I mean? Like they, they like they're not gonna send me old beer. So let's say they're two months old for the conversation. American barley wine, but super drinkable. A little bit of soft confectionery thing with the zaka hops and a pineapple. It's a little bit more. Let's put it that way, fruity. Um, that you can convince yourself that is all hop driven, but there's a real pineapple in it. So it, it has something else going on for it that makes yeah. it a more fruity, kind of like a, if like a, if like a New England style IPA had a baby with American barley wine kind of thing going on. Uh, did we talk about ABV? Is ABV on here? Uh, it's gotta be. 12.5. I don't know what the numbers are. If they're the 15! Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the same. Yeah. It's right there. Session beers. Yeah. We should just do these. Yeah, we should have did these on the train. Just took a train <laughs> out and just drove around. We should do that once. Do an afternoon where we just ride the New Jersey Transit around in a big loop and just do beer reviews. I did a beer review on the Transit before. So let's dive in this Bourbon Barrel HCM. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Come here, man. Up. You got up. Up. Oh, she's not going to come up. I like it. The, bur the bourbon it's sweet. is big. It's sweet. It's sweet bourbon sweet. Like almost like. Yeah. Think about taking like a bourbon like and like cooking it, like burning the alcohol off so you just have a sweet drink. It kind of comes off that way for me. So it's a little imbalanced, I guess you'd say. It'd be a little bit more bourbon than beer because it's like, you know, if you're kind of rating like beer by adjunct and by barrel, you always want the beer to be present, or at least I do. Um, and this is probably like 
uh, you know, uh, whatever. A little bit more barrel, or not even barrel, a little bit more spirit than yeah. beer. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it, 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 not in a negative way, and the nose is fantastic. It just comes off very sweet, spirity. Yeah. I mean, ideally, this video would be, what, 40 minutes long, 50 minutes long? To, to give us enough time between each one to, like, not to get... Well, that's true, but if we if we spent 40 minutes on this video, these might freeze oh. before we got to them, so we just... Yeah. Yeah. The beers that's are getting true. colder, not warmer. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a thing that you is, guys need to understand right now. Actually, I think it's because my body temperature is rising because I'm drinking alcohol. <laughs> Isn't that how people die of hypothermia? They go, I feel warm now. <laughs> it's not cold out anymore. I'm, I'm okay with myself. Everything's comfortable. <laughs> and then you just... You're dead. <laughs> Rye! Fucking barley wine. Ugh, God. Cheers. I, so, uh, this is me. Mm. Actually, you go first. Point, go one, your favorite to your least favorite. Do one, two, three, four. And I'll tell you what my one, two, three, four is. I already have it set in my brain. You're not going to change my mind. I really want to go rye first, but I feel like there's more alcohol in this one. So I'm going to go the bourbon barrel aged first. Then I'm going to go rye barrel aged. And then <clears throat> and then I'll probably go the base and then the pineapple maybe. I don't know. These, these two are kind of too close for me to be like, I like this one. Because I, I like both of them. But, but, yeah. yeah. I am yeah. almost the exact opposite. I would go oh. rye first, pineapple second, base third, bourbon last. Oh. You know. You know what we have to do now. And it, well, I only say that because... I like the pineapple the most because I think it's I think this is a really well done American barley wine. I think the pineapple and whatever they did to this, and I think there has to be something beyond just pineapple and those Azaka hops. It just adds a soft kind of cakey confectionery thing that I like, but doesn't get over the top. And it's still this tastes like an American barley wine. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> Trying to get into birdhouse. Um, it, it's got this confectionery thing I dig so much. I like this just like plain. it's a really great beer the bourbon is just so spirit forward and that's the most prominent thing in it and it's not to me this is more spirit than beer so that's why it kind of comes up in the last now the rye one i dig that spiciness even though there is that alcohol you talked about that is too big well not too big but very aggressive i think this has something to it that i really dig and i enjoy it so that's why i went the way i went I think I messed up. No, own it, dude. Like, no. enjoy what you enjoy. Don't. No, because I was, I was like, because when you asked me, I was like, I want to try them all again because I don't remember. I think I want to say pineapple first. I could see. I, it was a then, tough one between these then, two for me. Then this oh, okay. one. Then this one, and then. Okay. Even though I don't know. I like I like all. Well, you know what we have to do now, right? <laughs> oh, cuvee. Cuvee. Super cuvee. Let's do it. Do it to it. And this is probably going to be the best oh, of the bunch. Oh, I don't bunch. have enough room in this glass. That's why I drank oh. a little bit more. I'm like, he's not going to have enough. <laughs> I told... Look at that. Oh, look at how awesome... Look, it's like... Oh, you could take an Instagram photo of that shit and people would be like, oh, man, that's, that's high-end shit right there. It's like an ice cream cone. It's like an ice cream cone of deliciousness for just me and only me. Oh. Take a slow, <laughs> slow <-mo> video. <laughs> I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I am not going to lie. 
I think that's the best. Like sometimes I do these, we do these cuvies and they work out being kind of negative. But I think here it's a positive because I think you get that sweetness from the bourbon. You get that spiciness from the rye. But it drums down or beats down that uh, sweetness from the bourbon. You get that subtle confectionariness from the pineapple and that little extra pop of hops from the base. And I think it ends up being a fun mixture of beer. I really do. I mean, obviously our cuvées are slightly different. Um, But I like mine. Mine mine is definitely more well-rounded than... Pretty much any of the like them uh, individually, but uh, yeah, I feel like yours is a little bit darker, so I don't. No, yours is darker, so I think it's the oh, light. Oh, oh, oh. It's probably <laughs> <a little> light. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. We just drank four barley wines. I feel it too. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> no. Um. So here you go. Um. Let's put it this way. These were fun to do. It was really fun to kind of run the progression of all the barley wines together. But they're not what I view as some of the better barley wines in history. It's not like a, it's not J.W. Lee's. It's not Hardy's. It's not Old Stock. It's not aged barley wine. This is an American barley wine base. They fucked with pineapple, bourbon, and rye. And I'm not going to sit here and say, this is the best barley wine I've ever had in my life. It's not going to be a Mount Rushmore status for me. But if you dig American barley wine, and that's your jam, then this is probably a really fun vertical to do. And it's probably a really accessible vertical. I mean, you know, a lot of times breweries release a beer as a barley wine. And then a year later, they do a different barley wine. And then a year later, they do a different barley wine. Kudos to Ecliptic to releasing a kind of like a vertical set all at the same time to where you could do something like this. You know, it's fun. That's actually a good question because a lot of breweries will do a base version and then a year later, yeah, they'll that's do, what I mean. do a barrel age version. Yeah. So do you think... I think they, they, I think they, I think they made this beer and did this... I think they then rebrewed it and did this, which is fine by me. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, it's just a fun kind of vertical to do because, yeah. like, <clears throat> like Keith landed com- relatively completely different on what he liked about these beers, but it's not a matter, matter of right, wrong, or whatever. Whatever. I think a lot of people would be kind of different or polarized or whatever you want to call it with these beers because they think there is... Something to like about it. A- again, I'm not trying to kowtow or kind of cater to to the brewery. You, you guys know how I roll. I'll say hot garbage across the board if I want to. In an American barley wine, while it's not my favorite style, it's a, just a fun vertical to do. Yeah. With a very fun and aggressive cuvie on top of everything. <laughs> That's what makes them the world go round. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, so let's talk about these beers. Are, are these some of the better American barley wines or barley wines in general I've had until late? Eh, it's worthy of being in a conversation. It's not going to be Mount Rushmore status. Value and availability. Actually, I think their beers are relatively decently priced. So we'll see what's up with that and leave you with, if you like what way you like these, if you like American barley wine and you like variants. I mean, that's really the kind of, the calling card of these beers it, is they were almost built to do this kind of thing. And I like that cut. Like I always talk about, you know, whether it be hot butcher or all these breweries that try to do like cool, weird things with beers. I think it's very cool that they released all these at the same time. So somebody can do like a pre-made vertical. Usually that takes a long time to do. You have to buy the beers. You have to sit them. You have to wait to find friends. You get to do this cool little vertical on your own. I appreciate that. So there you go. How about you, Keith? Yeah. That's why they don't Matt, call him the best color man in the business, everybody. Matt said <laughs> I had to come over here and drink barley wine, so I said okay. And there you go. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. <laughs> Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. How about you? You can find me at 93 Lumber, both on YouTube and Instagram, but that is spelled out, 93 Lumber. And, uh, yeah, if... 
if um, a club dick wants to send me any oh. beer, they can shill. They can a, uh, a fucking shill over here. Email right me. Oh at, uh, God damn it, Keith. Ninety three lumber at gmail.com <laughs> That's 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 also spelled out. Yeah. It, it, like they're gonna be trying. They're gonna be like, I'm gonna send beer. We're gonna, uh, 84 lumber is gonna be like, why do these people want to send us beer? I'm like I don't understand why this brewery from from the West Coast wants to send a lumber company beer. I'm not quite sure what's going on right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the beer review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the beer yourself. We'll see yeah. you next time. Cheers. Cheers.